Good afternoon folks, this is Marius from MariusLanton.com and from the Twitter handle LandM underscore Marius. This is a quick report for our premium members. I may decide to make this video public and uh, but for now you probably probably would have downloaded the report number 31, read the report and I'm quickly going to get into three things that is really important. Uh, the first thing is that we identified 11684 as the high potential target for this leg or in this phase. We also said that look for a 26% gain to that point. And the third important point is what you need to understand is that time can expand or contract and percentage gain is more important than time. Then the fourth point is that we put this chart in. In this chart we show you a channel and that channel is where we expect Bitcoin to move in that channel. You can see that that's the top. There's another top there it just broke out and we're going to get into that really quickly now. And on the bottom it just touched there. Now you'll see that we've actually got two channels here. We've got this one light channel and then this light green channel. Now what we said is that we expected Bitcoin actually to touch that and potentially come down into this light green channel which we've now identified that it actually did that it broke down into this channel from there onwards we expected to come back into that channel and then hit that 11684 target so no need to panic guys you can see that we are now in phase one this is super cycle one phase one a phase one b we are just getting started no bitcoin is not going to break down to 4000 2000 and 1000 it's not going to go to zero it will not be impossible guys by the end of this year for bitcoin to be 10 times or more the price of what bitcoin is now you do not want to get into next year when Bitcoin is 100,000 plus and tell yourself that I could have bought Bitcoin for 9,000 or $8,000 in May of 2018. So at the moment Bitcoin is trading at 8899 exactly to that point. But um, you can see that we are in phase 1A, phase 1B, Bitcoin is uh, approximately there. We're heading into phase 2. You'll see that on the top there I talk about one uh, super cycle 1. We are going to see four super cycles this year. So the four super cycles will consist of four different phases, what you see here, phase 1A, phase 1B, phase 2, phase 3, and then obviously on that side, phase 4. And I'm quickly going to get into something to show you. Okay, on this chart here, what I did is uh, just these pink lines are actually the... Uh, the channel that is identified here and then we've got that green channel there where we say that Bitcoin could potentially break down there move sideways and then shoot up to HPOD1 but in this channel here you can see that Bitcoin went down there up there uh, down to, f to point number C and this is where we see the breakout and also this morning on Telegram I tweeted out and said that we do expect a potential of a 23% that it would break down and the other potential would actually be up. That actually formed a bullish flag overnight and that is why we see the breakdown. Eventually what we are going to see is that we're going to see this arrow shoot up somewhere here. We don't know exactly where it could move on a little bit perhaps to that side but around that that phase there that is where we expect another B we've got A A B B so once it hits that channel it's going to break up exactly what we've seen there reach that little tip of 11684 then come back down and form a probably a bullish pennant uh, where it will come down go up come down and form that and then it'll heat, heat up to our 13653 range and then a little bit higher. Now from a larger perspective what you just need to understand uh, I will see if I can show it here. Um, remember this was the wake off. Let me just get into that. Remember we said from there onwards that we had this uh, wake of event that the market would have gone down in three stages had formed that and eventually if you look at at the the Bitcoin chart that it actually went and formed the exact path and then on this opposite side it formed that pattern of advances and you'll notify here that it's actually this block here that is actually going sideways and let me just put that quickly in a channel so so that you can uh, grasp what I'm saying here now so that is actually the channel where Bitcoin is actually forming 
a sideways movement and what you can see in the wake of phase as well is that little bit there where we are moving sideways and remember in report number 26 uh, this is report number 26 where we say of 5 April that wake of resumes and a word of caution where we say that it's going to go sideways and the time expanded uh, this is how we identify the wake of 100% correct and as it came there we had all these different moves that it make for example that little thing there is something that we identified and pre-identified in time there it is see all those funny little moves that it made there in the report number 26 then we said it's going to shoot up exactly what it did uh, yeah where it, where it literally broke upwards into let me just remove that that way where it actually went upwards and then we had that sideways movement which is in the report number 26 which is that one there and we said that will occur around about the 87 to the 96 mark see that little uh, point there where we said that's a pattern of advances and from there onwards we said it will break up and then hit round about the eleven thousand dollar mark so guys just to give you confidence we predicted this long 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 time ago this was probably around about well this report is is the 5th of March but or oh, sorry the 5th of April but uh, I think somewhere in March uh, probably around about the 10th is when we first came out with a wake off uh, phase and said that we're going to follow this now once we hit the 11684 range that'll complete the wake off and then we head into something which is called a uh, you know the markup phase and that phase can last a fair bit of time before we then get overbought and then go down and that's coming that is coming we've identified that we know exactly where we're heading so with this breakdown let's just quickly zoom in and I'm going to give you uh, just a quick update on this this is the point that we identified and said that uh, if we do break down that it can break down to uh, let's say around about okay let me just quickly get this now again guys this is not technical analysis if I can't understand something very clearly with our technical analysis then I'm probably not interested in it but just for purposes of this we can see that it actually created this ABC correction in the larger scheme of things you can literally have a look and see that this is actually your A your B and then your C leg can this go a little bit further yeah it probably can but eventually what's going to happen is that this is actually going to break upwards and then hit that 11684 mark so it's not really for us a big concern exactly how it broke out there it is possible that it can break out of this channel downwards but then when it comes there it's also going to break upwards in that point there to hit that 11.684 then come down probably around about a 16 to 20 percent retracement from there going sideways into a bullish pennant and then hit up to that H spot 13.653 so uh, let's have a look at the larger picture um, this is a four hour chart of Bitcoin uh, this is around about December, the December high, and uh, it came all the way down here, 650, I think that was the mark, it hit up there, um, we are now at this little point here, I'm going quickly through this, um, you know, because I'm, I'm expecting that all of you actually understand charts a little bit, so what we can see from this is that it's actually forming a really nice cup, and handle now as you can see from this what I think is going to happen is that this will actually probably break out now have a look at this point here on the left hand side of this uh, per, uh, pink line now we believe that it could potentially break out here do something like this and do exactly what it's done on that to mirror that result there and do a formation like this to hit the 11684 range so yes Bitcoin is not breaking down it's not going to go down to 5,000 4,000 and to zero we believe actually it's actually going to go a little bit higher and I'm going to show you what is going to happen with Bitcoin over the next few months 
from here onwards we believe that it's going to do that correction now remember this is the correction that I was talking about this little one here when it gets there it's going to retry 16 to 20 percent and then up and down a bullish pennant and then shoot up so this one is what we expect that it would do to come down here create that little bullish pennant and then shoot up again to your 13 653 range and one of the things that you can see here is that this is actually a resistance line and that is why at this point it's going to have some sort of a resistance according sorry let me just have a look at our data here so according to our data it's actually going to do something like this and then make a move upwards and I'm just going to stop it there because I'm not going to show you what's going to happen up here. Uh, there's some things happening up here in that range and those are things that we really really need to be extremely careful for because at some point this thing is going to come just down like this. Now I don't want to want to give that information out yet otherwise a lot of trading analysts will start using our work but uh, literally we have identified uh, almost exactly to the point the entire year where Bitcoin will go but for now let's just focus on what's at hand now it's not really there's no need really to sell at these kind of levels where Bitcoin is actually breaking downwards uh, let's go to this one let's clear that up a little bit and see what is it at the moment um, let's just zoom in there so uh, you can see is there further downside yeah possibly these this is on an hour chart and there's a few minutes left over there so you can see that it came down all the way there and it's actually pushing back so it may be that this is the end it can break down a little bit further but in the end what we expect is that exactly what it did here where it actually broke out of the channel where it comes back reverse that upside down and you can possibly see that it'll come down and shoot up again to go into that little uh, segment there which is the 11,000 range so yeah guys on a, on a long term view cup and handle it's going to go up there it's going to hit our 11,684 range it's going to come back a bullish pennant it's going to go up to 13,653 and then really really be cautious uh, from that point onwards and I will release, release a new report once we reach this HPOT 1, HPOT 2 very very careful what we're going to do here because uh, some profits that people have will just be simply wiped out it's not going to be impossible to lose uh, from our calculations 40, 50, perhaps 60% of profits so um, yeah I'll, I'll leave it there and uh, as I say this is a video for premium members only I may make it private or public uh, rather in the next uh, day or two but yeah good luck and I will talk to you guys soon thank you